Hello, today's video is a guide on charter ship crafting. This method is great for Iron Man because it doesn't require a ton of resources, just some GP and isn't too expensive, and you can do it at any level. I'll be showing two methods in this video. First is the low level method before you have lunar diplomacy done, and the second method is using the spell super glass make. For the first method, you can do this at any crafting level and the only recommendation is to have priest and peril completed. In Port Phasmatis, a furnace is very close to the charter ships so you're able to make molten glass without having to bank your resources. This is great for ultimate Iron Man. Alternatively, if you don't have Priest and Peril completed, you can also use a charter ship close to a bank such as Catherby, Port Cazard, or Corsair Cove and then use a furnace close to a bank such as Edgeville or Alcarid. First of all, you want to buy a glass blowing pipe from the charter shop if you don't have one already. Then buy 10 buckets of sand and 10 soda ash. Seaweed doesn't work for this because in order to use the seaweed for molten glass, you would need to cook it first on a range or fire to make soda ash. So take your items to the furnace and smelt them to make molten glass. If you want to save run energy and time, I recommend walking back to the charter ships while you're blowing glass, but it's not necessary. Use the glass blowing pipe on the molten glass and create whatever your highest level item you can make is. At level 1 you can make beer glasses, level 4 you can make empty candle lanterns, and so on. The only thing is at level 87 you can make empty light orbs, but these are untradeable so can't be sold back to the shop, but you probably don't have to worry about that if you're doing this method. So once you've made all your glass pieces, you can then sell them back to the charter shop for a small amount of GP and hop worlds. Although the empty buckets sell for zero GP, I recommend selling them to the shop just because it's faster and less tedious than manually dropping all of them. Then in the next world, you repeat the same process. Each molten glass costs 10 GP and your XP varies on what item you're able to make. So I can't really calculate the GP per XP accurately and I'm bad with math, so if you're also a math hater, I recommend doing port phasmatis instead of banking the items you need for a certain level. But this is a very inexpensive way to train crafting on an Iron Man. For the second method, you need 77 magic and completion of the quest Lunar Diplomacy. In your inventory, you will need at least astral runes and GP of course. You can use a smoke staff or an air staff plus tome of fire instead of using air and fire runes. Note that you only need one page in your Tome of Fire for it to work with this method and it doesn't use charges. Burnt pages are only used in combat, not skilling spells. For this method, you can be at any charter ship in the game, just find one that has full stock or hop worlds until you find a world that has full stock. I wouldn't recommend Port Phasmatis, Catherby, Port Cazard, or Corsair Cove because those are frequently used by lower level Iron Man doing the first method. For this, you are able to buy seaweed instead of soda ash, but either one works. I do 10 of each per inventory, then cast Super Glass Make. This on average gives 30% more molten glass than using a furnace, but it's a bit random. So if you do 10 of each raw material per inventory, then that's an average of 13 molten glass per inventory. Craft all your molten glass into whatever item you choose and sell it back to the shop. Because Lunar Diplomacy requires 61 crafting, you will already be able to make lantern lenses if you have the spell unlocked. Empty light orbs are more XP per hour once you have 87, but they are untradeable, so you'll have to drop each one instead of selling them back to the shop, which is a bit tedious and means you lose more GP. So this is similar to the first method except you stay at charter ships the entire time and get a lot more XP per hour. With lantern lenses, you can get up to 70k crafting XP per hour, and with light orbs, it can be up to 90k. This spell requires a decent amount of of runes, but one cast does your entire inventory, so the GP cost is pretty minimal. If you're doing lantern lenses, the GP per XP is about 
1.07. The math will be on screen if you want to see how I calculated that. So for example, if you need 10 million crafting XP, that'll cost 700k GP. You spend most of the money on runes at the start if you're buying them, but you slowly gain back some GP while crafting. So you actually need more than 700k to start, but you will end up with 700k less GP in the end. These tips apply for both methods, so I'm putting them at the end here. You can hop about 15 worlds before the first one restocks, so if you want, you can just camp 15 worlds instead of hopping down the entire list. Also, to hop worlds quickly, if you have rune light, you can use the world switcher plugin on the sidebar just by double clicking the world you want to hop to. Or press Control shift and the left or right arrow key. Left goes up the list and right goes down. That's it for this video, I hope this helped. Good luck on your crafting journey and I'll see you all next video. Goodbye.